the healing of the demoniac. We would, we would find this in Matthew chapter 12. I think we looked at it already, did we? No. Matthew chapter 12, 22. Then they brought to him a blind and dumb demoniac, and he cured him so that the dumb man sp could speak and see. And the people were astounded and said, Can this be the son of David? And then they continued in their whole episode. But when the Pharisees heard their disaster, they said, This man drives out devil own devils only through Belzebul, the chief of devils. We have that also in Mark chapter 3, 20. Let's see what Mark chapter 3, verse 20 tells us. He went home again, and at once such a crowd collected that they could not even have a meal. With his relation, when his relations heard of this, they set out to take charge of him, convinced that he was out of his mind. The scribes who had come down from Jerusalem were saying, Belzebul is in him. So in Matthew's gospel, we are told he healed someone who was dumb, and then they started to accuse him of um, doing that at the hand of Belzebul in Mark. They make the accusation almost immediately. Luke chapter 11 verses 14. Luke chapter 11 verse 14. Let us see what he said. He was driving out a devil and it was dumb. So this one is similar to Matthew. And it happened that when the devil had gone out of the, and the dumb man spoke, the people were amazed, but some of them said, Elzebul. So this is the miracle of the driving out of the demon, the demon and the making that accusation that Jesus is full of Belzebul, right? which is a strong, a powerful, a ugly accusation to make. Eh? So we want to safeguard ourselves from making such accusation. We want to ask Almighty God to drive out the devils in our lives, the demons. When we think of that, it is not just only people who are possessed. Eh? Think of our habits that we sometimes cannot control. Our evil ways, our ugly ways. Like sometimes we, we just keep going back into the same thing over and over. We ask Almighty God to come and heal us. As we read these miracle stories, we say, Lord, come and work miracles in our lives. Again, I want to bring before you, Father, those of us who look at this and follow this inspiration, especially those who are ill. We have to keep remembering those who are ill, those who are elderly. Father, impart a very special blessing of healing of, upon them. Bless also those who look after them. Give them the courage to take care of the elderly, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.